Larry really wanted to have sex last night. He even gave me the 30-second massage. Oh, you mean the, I really care that you had a bad day back rub that stops just before you truly relax and then quickly head south towards the promised land? <laughs> exactly. So, did you make love? Oh, I couldn't. I was just too tired. How'd you get out of it? Well, I pretended to fall asleep during the massage. I even did that heavy breathing thing. So he thinks you're in the really deep REM? But the whole thing backfired because when I really fell asleep, the baby started crying and then Larry pretended that he was asleep. Fool. If he had just gotten up with the baby, you would have sounded the trumpets, opened the gates, and welcomed the troops home for Christmas. In a heartbeat. The key to a happy marriage is to accept the essential chasm between men and women. Which is? A man can mend a fight with sex. A woman can't have sex until they've resolved the fight. Why is that? It's the basic difference between the penis and the vagina. A penis is a thruster, a battering ram, if you will. Even if it's mad, it can ram. Sometimes it even helps. It's the mad ram principle. However, the vagina, ah, uh, the vagina. The vagina has to be relaxed in order to open and receive. It can't be that gracious hostess in a state of anger. And that goes for blowjobs and kissing as well. Every female point of entry needs to know that the penis is coming in peace. Do you have any sweet little? Uh, would equal be okay? Whatever. It's not an affair. Teresa never had sex with him. They just kissed. A kiss is an affair. You think so? Absolutely. Once you establish anything truly intimate with another person, even talking, it has to affect the person you're supposed to be the most intimate with. But the crazy thing is, is Teresa could fuck her husband. She just couldn't kiss him. I mean, really kiss him. It's not so crazy. There have been times when I'm so angry at Stan that I could fuck him, but I don't want that cow tongue anywhere near me. A kiss can be so much more intimate than sex. Yeah. Why is that? Because fucking means, yeah, yeah, I love you, but a kiss, a kiss means, I like you. <laughs> That's so right. I've been made out, I mean, really made out with Larry for years. Doesn't that make you sad? Not really. Why? I don't know. Because it's inevitable. It's the wear and tear of the job. The diapers, the tantrums, the homework, the state capitals, the kingdom, phylum, genus, species, your mother, his mother, and suddenly all you're aware of is that there are too many wet towels on the floor, he's hogging the remote, and he's scratching his back with a fork. And finally you come face to face with the immutable truth that it's virtually impossible to French kiss a person who takes the new roll of toilet paper and leaves it resting on top of the empty cardboard roll. God forbid he takes the two seconds to actually replace it. Does he not see it? Does he not see it? I'm telling you. Marriage is the jack of working of romance.